imagine if Stardew Valley and Command and Conquer had a baby? Well, that baby would be an easy to pick up but impossible to put down game called Pixel Wars. Every match a procedurally generated map with retro visuals, simple to understand mechanics, easy multiplayer and great controls. This all from an indie studio, Atomic Lollipop is truly something special. The game takes inspiration from a variety of sources including Project Breaking the Tower, Command and Conquer, Chess, Lord of the Rings, Legends of Zelda and even Doom. But despite its many influences, simplicity is king in Pixel Wars. With only 5 building types and 6 units and 1 faction, it's easy to learn but offers endless opportunity for a depth of play. The developers wanted to create a game that was simple to pick up and play but also had a lot of depth for more experienced players. They took a lot of inspiration from classic games like Doom and Chess which are simple but yet so addictive. At first I was very hesitant to try Pixel Wars. The retro visuals aren't typically my style and a lack of AI meant that it was purely PvP. But once I jumped in, I quickly realized how addictively fun this game actually is. The game has a very unique feature that not many RTS games has, procedurally generated maps so each match is always unique. In actual fact, three different planes with 2.1 billion possible randomly generated maps so not one single game will ever feel the same. And the developers also added a very cool, very unique feature. When someone starts a match, a notification is pushed to the Discord server and as soon as the match ends, the results are also pushed to show who has won live in the Discord channel. You can even hop in and spectate the match while it's going on. I had so much fun with this game. So what are you waiting for? Give Pixel Wars a try today and discover the addictive simplicity that is making this game so fun. And if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link down below to the Steam page as well as their Discord server. The game nails a lot of all RTS fundamentals and if you want to know why other RTS games are failing, you can can find out in a video that I'm leaving here now.